Hi everybody, uh, my name is Jordan Blazo. I'm going to be your instructor for KIN 345 this summer for uh, Sport and Exercise Psychology. Uh, and what this video is created for is really to just get you guys acquainted with D2L, where our course website's going to be, uh, and then also kind of go through a little bit of our syllabus. We're not going to go into a lot of depth on the syllabus, uh, and that is by design. Uh, the reason being, uh, I'm really expecting you guys to more so go through it in depth, uh, and if you have questions, you can definitely get a hold of me. All right, so here we are on the course website, or, or how we get access to the course website. Uh, we'll be using MSU D2L, or Desire to Learn. Uh, it's the new angel here at MSU, so please come to this uh, login, so just d2l.msu.edu. Uh, you'll have to use your MSU credentials to log in, uh, but just do this. Uh, I was just logged in, that's why it kind of jumps to this page. Uh, what you'll have listed here are your courses uh, that will be going on this summer or, or even in previous semesters. So find our course, click on the link, and then this is going to be our course uh, homepage. Uh, so what I have here is some pretty basic information. So I'll post uh, syllabus materials, course assignments, uh, the lectures, so this will be how you get access to the videos to go through PowerPoints, as well as some small activities. Uh, the exams are posted here. I've also got a bunch of information posted here on the right for you guys. Uh, hopefully this is avail available to you, uh, but really it's just a breakdown of when things are going to be due. Uh, so you can see, uh, if we look down here, term paper, stage one due, it's going to be due basically June 15th at midnight. Uh, so this will have some nice deadlines for you guys. Uh, so definitely come in here, poke around a little bit uh, if you're unfamiliar with D2L. Otherwise, what we're going to do is just jump into the syllabus. So I click on the syllabus folder. Uh, here's listed the, the actual syllabus. Uh, D2L has a, a, a system within it that will preview all documents. I would highly suggest you guys go ahead and download all these. That is an option towards the bottom. Uh, the reason being is D2L can be slow. And you can see how these pages are blank. It takes a second, it'll pop up. Uh, but I always like to have hard copies myself. So uh, I would go ahead and download that. So what I'm going to do is kind of switch over to Microsoft Word where I've got a copy of the syllabus now. Okay, so here's the syllabus, and this is what I wanted to go through uh, kind of quick uh, just for this video. Uh, I don't want this video to get to be too long. So at the top, we've got uh, instructor information. Again, my name's Jordan Blazo. I'm a doc student here in the Department of Kinesiology. Um, I don't really have formal office hours because this is an online course. Uh, so if anything, we can video chat uh, if, if we need to meet or if we have something we need to discuss. Uh, we can do this via Skype. We could do that via FaceTime. We, we can figure out a way to do that. Um, but if you are in East Lansing over the summer, we can also meet in my office. I'll be here all summer. Um, so I'm in I am Circle 140. Uh, just kind of hunt me down or set up a time. Uh, and, and we can meet in my office on campus if that works better for you. Uh, for the most part, though, definitely uh, try to communicate with me via D2L. There's an email client within it, or you can just email me here at, at my email address, so blazojor at msu.edu. Um, again, this is going to be the best way to get a hold of me, uh, and we'll talk about that in a little bit. Uh, the instructor of record is Dr. Dan Gould. He's a professor here in the KIN department. Um, here is his contact information. Um, it's listed here, but please make note of this asterisk. Uh, what you guys need to know is that I'm going to be the one handling this course. Uh, I'll be dealing with all the day-to-day, -day, all the little nitty-gritty things. So really, um, Dr. Gould is a last uh, last person you guys should be getting a hold of. So, so definitely get a hold of me. Um, I'll have some context to what you guys are going to be emailing about, uh, and Dr. Gould might be just a little bit outside of that. So uh, again, just contact me first, uh, and we'll try to, to deal with anything that comes up uh, between you and I. Uh, class meetings, this is pretty simple. Everything's going to be posted on D2L. Uh, right now, it looks like D2L does not work very well with posting videos, and these videos are going to be kind of large. So uh, what I'm planning on right now is trying to post a couple of them uh, to the D2L website, uh, but if that's not going to work, what I will do is I'm going to create a private YouTube channel, uh, and I'll be posting our videos on there for you guys to, to watch. Okay? Um, let's see, what else do we have here? We have when the course is taking place, with, which hopefully you understand. Uh, course description, there, 
it, it's somewhat long, uh, but just know that what we're going to be doing, just like the title implies, is we're going to be going over sport and exercise psychology. Uh, so this tends to look at a lot of different topics. We're going to be talking about motivation and sport. How do you work with an athlete? How does the mind really influence performance or even things like enjoyment in sport? Uh, so we're, we're going to be covering a lot of information. Uh, this, I, you, you'll see in a minute uh, the breakdown of all the topics we'll cover. Uh, it's a lot of material for the summer, uh, but, but we're going to work through it. Uh, and you guys are going to have a great, uh, really a, a solid base uh, of sport and exercise psychology going forward. Uh, the textbook for this course is Foundations of Sport and Exercise Psychology, the fifth edition. This is the actual picture uh, of the textbook. Uh, I've gotten a couple emails about getting a used version. You can do that. That's completely fine. Uh, I do suggest that you guys get, the, get access to the online materials. Uh, if you do that with a used book, uh, you just have to go to Human Kinetics. That's the publisher of this book. Um, and you can actually buy just the online materials um, on their website so you can get an access code there. Um, another textbook, I don't have a fancy picture for it, but is the APA, American Psychological Association, so the APA manual. Uh, this manual is going to be really um, important for your term paper uh, and really any papers that you're going to be doing in this course. Uh, it's going to go over how you uh, appropriately uh, cite sources, how you actually format your document, uh, a, a lot of nuts and bolts to forming term papers. Uh, so I really strongly suggest you get this um, as it's going to be really uh, APA formatting is required throughout the course. Uh, next we've got the grading and assignments. Uh, these are pretty straightforward so I'll let you guys kind of read through this. Uh, just one thing to note is on the evaluation side, so your actual grade. Uh, that's going to be determined by points. Uh, and just note here, if you get you know, 449 and a half points, that is not 450 points. So do not ask for a bump in grade or any extra credit options. They will not be given. Uh, so really try to do the work as we're going along uh, so you're not in a situation where you're on, the, on really that cusp of, of two different grades. Excuse me. Um, as we go through this, we've got the reading lectures and class activities. Uh, so what you guys need to know is uh, we're not going to be meeting face to face. That's that's pretty straightforward. So I expect that you guys are going to be doing the reading. Uh, you'll be going through my PowerPoints. The PowerPoints are not going to go over every last detail in the reading. Um, and, and that is by design. So that way, um, really, you guys are, are responsible for the material in the book as well as what I'm emphasizing in the presentations. Okay. Um, as well as the reading, there are going to be some, some small activities throughout the course. Uh, you guys are going to have to do four projects. Each one's going to be worth 25 points. Uh, I will have uh, an information sheet uh, about these outlining each individual uh, kind of project for you to do and the grading rubric. So you'll see that on the course website uh, with a handout that goes over these in more detail. Uh, this is a, a heavy writing class. So you guys are going to have to do a term paper uh, and I'm going to be trying to get you guys as much feedback as possible so that way when we get to the end product you've really got a nice paper uh, to, to hand in. Uh, again this is going to be something that uh, I'll, I'll provide more specific information on the course website. Uh, the next bit is we do have four exams in this course so uh, that, that does seem like a lot but it's really broken out. Uh, that first exam is going to cover a lot of material but the last bunch of them really are going to be more digestible. Okay? Uh, but each, each test is going to be, I believe I have it as 50 points. Uh, it'll be true, false, multiple choice, and every so often a short answer. Uh, it'll all be online. I'll make it available for an entire day for 24 hours. Uh, and then you've got basically from the point that you start the exam, you've got two hours to finish it, uh, which should be more than enough time. Uh, but again, pay attention to the instructions with the exam when those come because there will be specific deadlines. Um, if you don't finish it within a certain time, D2L will automatically submit your exam. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Oh, one other note with the exams is make sure you have reliable, consistent uh, internet. Um, that's going to be kind of a red flag in general, as it always is with online classes. If the internet kind of 
uh, has some issues or your test does, I need to know immediately so that way I can uh, reopen the exam for you if something's gone wrong, uh, if your computer freezes, whatever it might be. But again, um, that should be ironed out well before the exam since you're going to be accessing all the material online. Uh, class activities. Uh, so you'll be doing reading outside of class. You'll be going through my lectures. There's going to be some uh, small assignments, very small activities. They're going to be worth four points each. Uh, and again, this is just to keep us all honest and make sure that you guys are still following along with the lectures and the readings. Okay. Um, another thing I want you guys to pay attention to is how to get a hold of me. So some course poli policies here. Uh, emails going to be the best option unless you're here on campus. Uh, just make sure when you shoot me an email, you put KIN345 in the subject line. Uh, please sign your email with your full name. Uh, just don't use your first name. Inevitably, I'm going to have multiple Dans, multiple Sarahs, uh, all of that. So please make sure um, you're being specific with who the email is from. Uh, and then, let's see, what else do I have here? Oh, if it's a, if it's a question uh, really about points or how much something's worth, definitely come here to the syllabus. Check the syllabus before you email me because a lot of times some of your questions can be answered in the syllabus. Uh, another thing here is just note if I don't respond immediately to your email, it's not the end of the world. Uh, I've got over 50 students in this class, uh, so I, I plan on getting a lot of emails. So uh, just give me, I have here two days. If you don't hear from me within two days, shoot me another email and, and put something like urgent in the subject line and I'll get right back to you. Okay, uh, let's see here. So this, uh, just read through this. This is talking about D2L, how you're going to be submitting your assignments. Uh, again, internet access is going to be really important. Um, again, small, small bits of information here. Uh, make sure all your documents that you're submitting online are in Microsoft Word format, so .x or uh, doc files, uh, simply because I've had some issues with uh, Google Docs and those kind of things. So please make sure they're in these two formats uh, before you send them in. Uh, so time commitment, academic integrity, this shouldn't be anything new, uh, but do pay attention to the plagiarism component here. This is a writing intensive course. Do not copy other people's work, okay? Um, this is going to this will kind of make or break your experience in this class. So please pay attention to this. Make sure all of your work is that of your own. Uh, let's see here. Some accommodations. Again, uh, read through this. If anything applies to you, please contact me as, as soon as possible. Uh, then we've got tentative course outline. So this is when a lot of the materials are going to be due. Uh, do note that the last exam is going to be on a Thursday as opposed to all of the other exams which are on a Friday. Okay, so please make note of that. Uh, and then down here we've got the actual topics and modules that are going to be covered in this course. Notice module two is a doozy. It's a big one, all right? Uh, but we do have a, a lot of time. We, we've got a few weeks to really work through that. So please make sure you're, you're going through this pretty quickly. This is some pretty interesting information. Uh, while it looks like a lot, it should be a pretty easy read, okay? Uh, so definitely get on that, stay on top of that uh, reading. It's going to be extremely important. Uh, I've also listed in here when the exams will be, uh, as well as what modules uh, are going to be covered in these exams. Okay, so look through this um, and let me know if you have any questions. Uh, I think I've got all of this uh, down right now. Uh, and then also remember with the D2L website, uh, this information can be found in there. Uh, as for like drop boxes and those kind of things. Okay, uh, so that is our syllabus. I'm going to go all the way to the top here. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, anything like that that happen to come up, uh, shoot me an email and I'll try to work through them as quickly as possible. Okay, otherwise, uh, if you guys have done the reading, which you hopefully have or you're ready to, uh, definitely look into the, the first video lecture uh, and we'll get going with this class. Alrighty, thanks guys.